Welcome to the Scare Hollow modular prop drop panel wall uh, how to. This is for a two foot by six foot, uh, two foot wide by six feet tall um, drop panel wall. And uh, it's basically, I mean, I, I think I made this thing for, well, let's see, I had all the wood and I had my wife get me the piece of board. So you're probably looking at maybe 20 bucks if you had to buy all the wood. Um, obviously, I think um, all the Home Depots do this now, but um, a lot of Home Depots have this uh, this big cart in the back and it says uh, coal lumber uh, and is 70% uh, off. So I got a bunch of pieces like one by four and two by twos and one by twos um, for like, like nine bucks. I got like 60 feet of all that stuff. So, um, do that because this this stuff does not need to be flat a lot of the stuff was warped like it was the top of the bundles or things like that and so it got warped well you're gonna screw it straight down and so it's not gonna be it doesn't matter if it's warped because you're gonna make it not warped um, so um, and then obviously I believe we all have two by fours if you don't have two by fours I, I don't know if you're a haunter um, so um, and obviously you know the awesome screws and stuff like that those screws aren't supposed to be there but they're for another thing I'll tell you, I'll tell you in a minute so Mainly the thing is you got to have, you know, your, your two foot by, you know, your two, your two by fours that are six feet long on both sides. You have 21 inch, 21 inch and 21 inch. And then these two are 18 and an eighth. And these are one by fours. There are two of them and they're 48 inches long. And then behind it is one by two, those furring strips you can get at Home Depot uh, for like 96 cents or something like that. Obviously, if you get the 70% off, it's like 30 cents. Um, so those are behind it and you can adjust it for how wide your board is and how wide your picture frame is. Um, I used a 16 by 20, uh, I, um, basically template for a picture frame. And then obviously you wanna make the board bigger. So I made it tw uh, 24 inches long by uh, 17 and a half inches wide. So it overlaps the whole entire thing and actually overlaps it more because you're going to need, you're going to need that 24 inches. You're going to need that extra four inches to get up here. Um, because my hole starts down here, but I want all this area up here to get all this latch system and everything. So, um, and then, so basically the gist of it is that you take your, you take your, you take your two by your two foot by six foot board, you attach all the framing, you know, basic framing. You don't have to be all cool about it, but I definitely, you know, definitely put some, some, um, two or, th you know, three or four inch screws on both sides of this, uh, you know, two in each or whatever, and then two in each over there, and, you know, and then just use the inch and a half screws for, you know, to put the, to put the side to this, you know, or, or two inch screws, one, one and a half inch, whatever you want. What, what do you know? What, you know, whatever wood screws you got around. And then, you know, come down here and obviously you want to fortify this with at least, I have two three inch screws in there and two three inch screws in there. And then you go down and I think I also put screws on either side of this. I have two screws on both sides uh, to put to put that in. And then I believe I also put screws on the other side of the board into this as well. Um, you don't have to go really bad because you're gonna use this bracing system. So you put the two up there kind of slide it you know have to make make sure you have to knock them in because if you leave any space you're going to kind of ruin the effect of this so um and then obviously you're you're same down there put a couple extra screws down on the bottom one there because that's going to absorb a lot of the force and then obviously your floor so um the feet are optional um it's like a nine inch machine bolt that i just had laying around and some washers and a nut um and then this two by two that i had they're both 12 inches long um and they actually do fold up inside the little space right there um it's freestanding right now but it is at an angle and it seems like carpet lets it go a little further so you may have to put a block on the floor on the other side to keep it from going forward but um i think a lot of us frame up our walls anyways or at least put some type of a wood wall up that we can do it but this could be good for people who use a you know black plastic and things like that but still try to make some kind of you know that part you need to probably do yourself and figure out which type of thing you want. Maybe you want a taller one that goes all the way up here and down to there and stuff like that. So, um, you know, or maybe another, another two, you know, like one here and one here that go down. So, um, you know, get a couple of two by two sticks. They're like two bucks each or something like that. Get a couple of those and play with, play with your bracing that way. But, um, so yeah, behind it is the two one by two furring strips that is 48 inches long as well. And your hole 
and everything and then yeah so your latch system up here just get one of the gate latches from walmart they're like three four bucks i think and i'm gonna make a better one of these um it actually works for now but i need to put another screw in there just to get this but this again is just a one by two piece but you i don't know if you necessarily have to have that but these screws are going to go through the board and if they go through too far then you're going to be sticking out on the you're going to be sticking out on the board on the outside sticking through the picture frame so you don't want that so i put this in there so that i wasn't sticking out the board and making it any worse so i would also recommend on the other side of this board i don't want to drop it down because i'll have to leave the camera but um you will everybody else what a drop panel does so but on the on the on the back side of this make sure that you sand down the um the lip going up i'm flipping everybody off aren't i that's awesome um so sand down the board on here to make kind of like a ramp for this to go up because otherwise you're gonna you're gonna go clunk and you're gonna hit it and then you're gonna eventually gonna do it but after a while i think you'll get the hang of it so um yeah just make sure that this goes all the way down and obviously make sure that it goes it covers more than enough room for this board to go all the way down and clear the picture frame um that's kind of the point of the fact is that you can't see anything and then you're behind it um, of course, you can always attach a you know, couple of furring strips coming out this way and put some black black curtain material over all this to make a, to make a, to make like a photo booth type of idea where you'd be inside here and you'd have black all the way around you and then you'd just sit in there and you wouldn't have to worry about any ambient light from the outside. So yeah, I mean it's just it's, it's, it's super basic and then um, on the other side is the picture frame and any picture frame you want and a board. Um, let me actually turn this around. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, so yeah, so I, I painted the panel brown. I just kind of like it. I'm going to leave it as is anyways. Um, and then I painted the picture, and my wife's going to get me a new picture because I painted over it. See, I'm a really bad painter. Um, but yeah, so this was originally the peephole um, in our haunt this year. We were actually, first year ever, we we're actually going to do live webcasts from it. And so I'm actually going to have a webcam set up on the, on the hallway where this is, so when they pass by, they're gonna have I'm gonna put a monitor on the inside of the wall so that because we're gonna have two we're gonna have dual drop panels so we're gonna have a monitor set up where both drop panels can see it and they will be able to see when somebody's in front so you don't have to make a peephole if you're gonna use that if you are gonna if you are then you want to make it find out where your shadow is gonna be of where your hallway and where your light is so you may want to put it up there you may want to put it on 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 that side depending on where your shadow was last year my shadow was over here so you couldn't see the hole and then just drop him down so it's uh, pretty simple obviously you can you know get creative with the frame uh, you can get molding from Home Depot for like a stick of it for like 10 bucks and make and make a really cool molding looking frame um, and then paint it you know and stuff like that and age it whatever you want to do to it and uh, or you can go to Goodwill and probably spend the same amount of money and get a cool frame that way too so um, but I recommend 16 by 20 it gives you a little bit of room to move your head out instead of making it smaller like an eight and a half by 11 you'd literally only be able to stick your chin and face out so um, obviously uh, you know, I'd have some fun with it. And uh, we're going to put some branding on there. Scare all Scare all Oop, there it goes. See, those feet don't work very well. If you push on it at all, the feet don't really work. So, on carpet. So, I'd recommend not maybe doing the carpet. Maybe not doing the feet. Just frame it out. But that's up to you. Um, so, yeah, this is our prop panel. Pr drop panel. It's, 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 it's late. So, there also is a how-to. There's a link to it in the, uh, in the, description down below and you can download the uh i'll make it a pdf and a word document and stuff like that so you can modify it if you want to modify you know some words to make you make it maybe a little easier for you to understand i'm talking my speak you know so um yeah so that's about it and we'll uh if you have any questions put it in the comments or you can email me at scareholopdx at gmail.com and uh, or you can hit us up on facebook at uh, scare hollow um and uh uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you all. Uh, this will also be on display at the West Coast Haunters Convention uh, this year in 2014. Um, so you can come on by and see it in action. Uh, maybe we'll make like a photo booth op opportunity with it or something like that. So, all right, I will uh, leave you all with that. Any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.